Hey, what's going on, guys? Tanmay for Simple Snippets, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking into the do while loop, which is an iterative or looping control statement in Java programming. So, in the previous video tutorial, we saw the while loop, and before that, we also saw the for loop. So, if you have missed those videos, you can check it out in this playlist itself. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, the Java do while loop is used to iterate a part of the program several times. So, this is pretty much similar to the while loop or the for loop. Now, if the number of iterations is not fixed and you must have to execute the loop at least once, it is recommended to use do while loop. Okay, so the only difference between while loop and do while loop is that the do while loop condition is checked after the first iteration. However, in while loop, the condition is checked first and then the code inside the while loop is executed, right? So again, you can see if you have to execute the loop at least once, so irrespective of what condition is, is it true or false? this do while loop will execute one time for sure. So that's the only difference. So this is the syntax you can see do, we first write down do, then opening and closing curly brackets of the loop and then while wherein you check the condition, which means that the condition is checked after the first iteration. So coming to the flow diagram, again the flow diagram is also different compared to the while loop. First the statements are executed for the first time, then the condition is checked if it is true then again the statements are executed, again the condition is checked, if it is false then we exit the loop. So here the only difference between do while loop and the while loop is that the condition is checked afterwards. So you can see it is evident from the flow, flow diagram also. So let's see a program as well. Okay so now we are going to see a program example of do while loop and I'll try to distinguish between do while loop and while loop by giving a different program example. So let's first try to create a variable I'll say int x equals to 1. Okay. I'm just going to create do while loop first and then we'll see what program it is. So I'll say do then in the while I'll say while x is less than 5 and then a semicolon. So don't forget to add the semicolon after the while condition in the do while loop. And in the condition what I'm going to say is while x is greater than 5. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln print anything. So this is just to demonstrate that the condition here is x is greater than 5 okay but our value that we've assigned is 1 so 1 is not greater than 5 so this do while loop should not execute right but since it is a do while loop the condition is checked after the first iteration so even though x is 1 which is not greater than 5 still this will be printed one time let's save this and let me just show you by running it so there you go you can see print anything was printed which means that this loop executed one time for sure even though x was 1 and even though our condition was x is greater than 5, which is not true, right? Because we've assigned x is 1, but still this got executed. Now, let me just first comment this and let me try to demonstrate the while loop. So, I'll say while x greater than 5. Again, in the while block, what I'm going to say is I'm going to print anything. Let's try to save this and let's see if this is printed. If I run this, you can see you did not get any output because in a while loop, the condition was checked first. So before even printing this, the condition was checked, is x greater than 5? No, because x is 1. So this did not execute. But as you can see, if I again uncomment this, that is if I uncomment the do while loop block, and if I again try to execute this, it will at least run one time. You can see print anything is printed. So this is the basic difference. And this is what I want to demonstrate using the do while loop, because we do not have a particular program wherein we will need a do while loop, but there are at times cases wherein at least one time we want to print the output inside the loop and then later on check the condition. So that's when the do while loop is used. So I hope you understand the difference between the do while loop and while loop and when to use it and when not to use it. And we also saw a practical example. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood this concept. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video tutorial. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.